Hey family, stir fry here. Today I'm talking about the Fusigeli Fukai R7. One of the latest mods. Nice looking, interesting looking. It's a dual battery 1863 mod. Comes with a T4 tank. Let's take it downtown and investigate. Sigeli's Fukai R7. The line and long line of beautiful mods. Included, you get the quality control check, warranty center card, uh, security code, user's manual for the R7 and a T4 tank, and a card to tell you how to properly insert your batteries. Also included, you get the mod, you get the T4 tank with the pre installed coil and a spare coil. Now these are the SM2H coils which are 0.2 ohm resistance. They're rated between 60 to 100 and they recommend it best at 70 to 90 watts. You get a spare glass, spare o-rings. Now back to the tank. This is the Segele T4 tank. Now Segele, their, their usual designs are pretty similar. The tanks are very flavorful, the coils are very good. Now the only problem I had with this tank in specific was, let's knock it down, they have the proprietary drip tip, so you can't use your own drip tips in this. One little kidney shaped hole for filling, and when we disassemble the tank, now the biggest problem I had when I first got this was that the glass was stuck on the bottom. You see a very big o-ring down at the bottom. I had the hardest time getting this apart, and I'll see if I can get it back apart. Once it's properly pressed down, this tank, they tell you it's not, it's prevent leaking, but the glass is super, super tight. There you go. And off it comes. Trust me, it took me three days to get that glass off. <laughs> but once you break that initial seal, you should have no problems getting the tank off, getting the glass off. And there's your other pre-installed coil. Which again is the SM2H. Airflow on this tank is two slots. Airflow does have a stopper. And it is a very flavorful tank. Goes back together simply. Now the glass is nice and thick. Easy to assemble. Just gotta make sure you press it down nice and tight and everything is screwed in correctly and tight. Machining quality is very good. Again, the only thing I don't really like about this tank is proprietary drip tip. Airflow has a stopper, two slots, one on each side. Now the Fukai R7, talking dimensions. 88 millimeters tall. Let's see the widest part of it. It's 30 millimeters the widest part and lengthwise we're talking about 52.52 52 millimeters the top I really wouldn't put anything over a 25 millimeter tank on top of this nothing larger as the tank itself at its widest point the tank is 23.8 so you take 24 millimeters 24 millimeters Screw it on. And it just basically almost comes right up to the edge of there. A 25 millimeter will, and just to demonstrate, I have a bunch of 25s here. Let's say the lit. Yeah, my lit's 24. Here's how we look with the lid RDO on it. Lit's 24 millimeters. Again, it's very tight. Let's look at it with the paper of cascade on it.
very, very close. No, just just the slightest hair overhang. You really don't hardly ever notice it. But anything bigger than 25, you're going to have a lot of overhang. On the tank itself, the 510 is barely protruding. Barely. So it's not a tank you can use in a hybrid mod. As for the 510 connector, it is nice and springy. It has a lot of travel. A lot of travel. Now, inserting batteries into this mod is pretty simple. It's a little different than most. I forgot the USB cord. I always forget that USB cord is sitting in the battery door. Now, if you can see in the back, I need some kind of lighting in here. There's your plus and your minus at the very top. There's a minus. They could have made this in white or at least make it stand out somehow with a different color. So in the first battery goes in the back. You set the positive side up. It slides in at an angle, press in, and then it goes. Your second battery, which is negative up. And there you go. Your battery door has one magnet on it, and that goes up top. A little tab here goes in the bottom. And it's on. It's pretty tight. I hit a button rattle, and she's on. Five clicks on, five clicks off. Three clicks to get into. And it's three clicks to get into the menu. And there we have power. That's stainless steel, titanium, nickel, and TCR mode. Up and down buttons. You're going to stain the steel. Again, it's 304, 316, 317. Select it Fahrenheit or Celsius. And it gives you your temperature. Now remember with the Segele mods, they don't round robin. Okay. Back to power. That's a real simple mod, simple chip. I love this chip. It's real, it keeps it real simple. When you're we're going to put our tank on. Point two four is reading. It's supposed to be a point two. Point. All right. Now, the plus side and the power button. Locks your buttons. Doesn't fire. Doesn't change. Amen. Button lock. So it will not fire. Again, positive and fire unlocked. Now, the down button and fire. Preheat power adjustment. You can adjust your power, your preheat here. How long you want to preheat and the wattage. Plus and minus together, and it locks in your resistance for your temperature mode. Very simple chip. Very simple process. Let's put fill this up with juice. We'll take it back up top, and we'll talk about it. So, that's the Segele Pukai R7 T4 tank. Cons, just right off the bat, I have one big con with this is, well, it's kind of like, a, it's a pro and a con, so it's subjective. When I first got it, I could not get the glass off of the tank, 
off the bottom part of the tank. It just would not come off. It took, I had this thing for about a week before I could get that glass off. The O-ring on the bottom is so thick that you, it, it's, it's to prevent leaking, they say. And I, I can understand it, but it was almost next to impossible. It took me forever to get it off. But I did get the glass off. Thank God to give you a spare, but I didn't break it. So, I was able to get the glass off. That was my main con with it. Uh, another con, and this is not with Segele, this is with the retailers. It's hard to find replacement coils. Almost all Segele tanks, the T4, the T3, the T9, they all use the SMH, the SM coils. But for some reason, a lot of retailers don't carry them. And I don't understand why. Segele is a good brand. They make a lot of mods. They make a lot of gear. So I don't understand why it's so hard to get coils. The flavor. The flavor in that tank is incredible. The menu system is simple, easy to use. It's, I won't say it's the same exact chip, but it's a comparable chip. The, the menu is pretty much comparable to most of the other mods. It's good flavor, good vapor production. The mod is comfortable in your hand. Putting the batteries in is a little weird. It's a little strange, but it is a nice compact mod. The way to put the batteries in keeps it a little more compact, I guess. It keeps up its interesting design. I mean, the back piece here. Taking the tank off. This back piece here, you could put a lanyard or there or something, you know? Put a little clip on it or something, hang it from your neck, put it on a belt, something. So it, you can find uses for it. Other than that, I don't understand the use of the design. It won't take your big tanks and your big RDAs. Use anything over 25 and you're looking for trouble. <laughs> you know, pretty much. Uh, price point, it's got a low price point. It's a nice looking mod, it's simple, it's basic. It's a good starter for somebody who wants to get into vaping and then move on or up without having to step up to something new. Everything else is pretty much straightforward. It's a, it's a Gelly puts out a lot of gear. Um, display is simple. It's kind of reminding me of the other Pukais or the uh, your e leaves. Simple O E L E D. O L E D rather. I like it. And yes, I did buy it, so that's how I'm reviewing it. It is a good mod. I like Segelli. I like all Segelli products. Uh, there's not much more I can say. It's a good product. Solid mod. No battery rattle. The door, believe it or not, only having one bat, on, only have one magnet. It's pretty secure. The batteries are secure. Don't really have any complaints with this mod, except for the fact the fact that I could not get the glass off. So there you have it. The Segeli Pukai R7. It's a nice, comfort mod. If you're looking for something that looks a little different, it's a good mod to go. Price point though. Good quality taste, simple menu, all the pluses. So, this is Stir Fry Vapor out. Vape strong, vape on.